Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. If you are new here, I am Amber of Unique Upcycles and in today's video I am teaming up with Ashley and Steven from Henson Home Furnishings. This is actually our second collab together and in this collab I told Ashley to go pick just her worst condition piece out of her furniture hoard, the one that we keep pushing to the back that we don't want to deal with because it's so much work. So we are going to be tackling the ultimate trash to treasures. If you are not already subscribed, be sure to hit that little button and notification bell. I am so close to hitting 1,000 subscribers, and once I do, I will be doing a giveaway to celebrate that. And once you're done watching my video, be sure to go check out Ashley and Steven. I will put their link in the description below. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started. All right, here's the worst condition piece in my furniture hoard. It has no top, all the veneer is damaged and peeling. The lady that I got this from was originally gonna turn it into a bathroom vanity and changed her mind. And I also got this for free, which is a perk. I'm starting by removing all the veneer that I can by just peeling it off with my hands. Once I peeled off all that I could, I moved over to a scraper and tried to scrape under the edges and peel what I could down like that. The next step was to add the heat gun to try to heat up and loosen up some of the glue that was under the veneer. Um, it didn't work that well. I did get a little bit off, but not a whole lot, as you can see. I took a break from removing the veneer and had to remove the back off of this. It was cracked and all warped from being wet. If you guys watched last week's video where I struggled with removing the back, this one came off much easier. The next step in removing the veneer was to soak some towels in some water and then lay them on top of the veneer. I let them sit for about three to four hours before I came back and tried to scrape it off. After letting them soak, I came in with the heat gun and scraped off with my putty knife. That seemed to do a pretty decent job in removing the most part. There was some left on there, so after that I took an iron on top of a wet towel and that was the trick to getting it off for the rest of the way. So really it was a combination of all the techniques to remove all the veneer. Now that all the veneer is finally off all the drawer fronts, I'm just sanding the residual glue and whatever little veneer pieces are left down there. I'm going to be staining the two bottom drawers. The previous owner had already removed most of the stain and paint from the legs, but I had to hand sand in the little detailed areas as I'm going to be staining the legs as well. I recruited my boyfriend for assistance on creating the new top as neither of us had ever done anything like that before. So we needed to raise it up just a little bit so that the drawers wouldn't hit it. So we just cut down some scrap wood and glued it onto the top edge right there and then used the brad nailer to secure that in place. Before we started assembling the top, I noticed that our little uh, site manager over there was slacking on the job and was just tanning in the sun, living her best life. To secure the top on, we just applied some liquid nails and then set it on top. I didn't have clamps that were long enough to secure it down, so we just pulled up some pavers from the patio to weigh it down so that the glue could dry. While the top was drying and moved on to staining the drawer fronts, I started by applying a Minwax pre-wood stain conditioner to the entire top and then wiped it back. I then came in with, uh, I believe it's Varathane English Chestnut and did one coat of that and then wiped back any excess with a paper towel. I wanted to stain the top of the dresser as well, so I needed to finish off the edges of that plywood, so I am applying some veneer edge banding, just taping it in place with some frog tape after I cut it to size, and then just ironing it on. It is a heat activated glue, so you just go back and forth for quite a while with the iron and it will then glue itself right onto it. The band edging was a little bit wider than my board, so I just took some scissors and cut off the bottom edge. Once I removed all of that, I just hand sanded with a fine grit sandpaper on the bottom just to smooth it down and make sure there was no sharp edges. Once I had all the edging secured, I took my orbital sander with a fine grit sandpaper and sanded down the top of the dresser so that I could stain it. I did the man wax pre-stain conditioner and then used the same English chestnut on the top just like I did the drawers. Before I start painting, I'm going to go ahead and seal everything that I stained. I am using Minwax Polycrylic in Ultra Clear Flat and just applying this with a foam brush. I also am doing it to the legs because I am going to tape them off and I don't want to chance the tape pulling up any of the stain, so that's why I'm sealing it before I paint. I'm going to be painting both sides of the dresser as well as the top drawer, so I am applying one coat of Zinsser Bin Shellac Base Primer with a foam brush to each of those areas. After my primer dried, I went ahead and sanded back any texture that was left over from the foam brush. 
I partnered with Melange for this video and they so kindly sent me this color Cyclades and this two inch large natural bristle brush. They are a veteran owned company based out of Texas and all their jars are glass so they are recyclable or if you're a hoarder like me you can wash them out and reuse them when you're done. They did give me a code Amber10 and you guys can get 10% off your order. This color is really bright at first but I did do a total of three coats and you will see at the end that it does deepen up quite a bit. I applied the same Minwax Polycrylic to the top of my paint once it dried. To apply the new backing, we had to cut down two uh, different boards so that it would fit and then just applied it with my brad nailer. I lined all three drawers with a vintage newspaper print peel and stick contact paper and then I added on the new knobs, both of which I got off of Amazon. Before I do the final reveal, let's go ahead and look at what we started with. Remember it had no top and all the veneer was damaged. I got this piece for free. I have a total of about $85 invested in this and that's mainly because the cost of lumber is so damn high right now. I will list everything I used in the description. And here is the final reveal. Like I said, I have $85 invested into this. I'm gonna list it for $350 with hopes of making a $265 profit. Be sure to go check out Ashley and Steven's Ultimate Trash to Treasure Makeover over at Henson Home Furnishings. I will link their video in the description. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them, and I will see you guys next weekend. Thanks for watching.